what's popping YouTube. You already know who it is, your boy who's man's. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you never miss an upload. But as you see here, we just doing some quick little highlights through the preseason since we have week one starting up here soon. So we just going through the, the week um, week by week on the preseason games here. I'm just showing little highlights. <clears throat> um, now this is the Steelers um, franchise that I got going on here. Um, you know, I did put in sliders, so you're going to see that for the first game. Um, the computer should be, or the game should play a little bit better. I realize it is playing a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, my takeaways from these preseason games is that Mason Rudolph is pretty nice. I picked up Don Terry Poe to help solidify the middle. Um, and then um, the, my defensive line should be a little bit better since we don't have Javon Hargrave anymore. Um, and Chase Claypool is you show and prove to be good. So, I mean, if he keeps doing this, he's going to end in a starting lineup. And, um, yeah, I mean, we did pretty good um, defensively. Had a lot of takeaways. Um, did pretty well on offense. Uh, Big Ben struggles, struggles a little bit. So, I definitely got to find a QB to take, um, take him, you know, take up his uh, slack in the future. I did pick up Tyree Jackson because I want to run the air raid offense. So we're gonna try to groom him to be usable. Right now, he is definitely not usable. I used him in the last um, preseason game. You're gonna see the highlights of that. But I used him in the last preseason game. Struggled out the gate, did pretty well near the end of the game, so happy about that at least. Um, as we won this game, we went three and three zero and one in preseason. Um, did a pretty good job, um, but yeah, I mean I'm excited to see how the Steelers season goes this year. And then this is the last preseason game. I use Tyree Jackson primarily this one he's six seven and he has 85 speed and he has 95 throw power i just want to see if i can groom him it's going to be a couple of years um before i can get him going so uh, i'm gonna use mason rudolph but my plan is to get tyree jackson uh usable um because i think he'll be perfect in the style of offense that i uh run in this one um, this is the game that we tied and Tyree Jackson like I said he struggled through two picks but he also threw two touchdowns um, but yeah man I'm excited to see how this goes but anyway now we get into the regular season we are playing against the New York football Giants we got you see this lineup here and we kicking it off um, Steelers defense in the preseason looked amazing and we're going to see if this can uh, hold up here against these New York football giants. I mean, Daniel Jones definitely is no slouch. And they they have one of the best running backs in the NFL. Who they just threw to? Saquon Barkley or Saquads. Um, definitely got to keep an eye out on him. There is no taking him out of the picture. It's just going to be I can try to see if we can slow him down a little bit. And we also have to worry about uh, Ingram there because he's... He's more like a receiver than a tight end with that speed. So that's going to be difficult. That's going to put us in a lot of coverage packages as we get burnt right there. Joe Hayden gets burnt, um, and they score the first touchdown. So they kick it off to us. We got to answer back quick, and then we got to figure out. And, man, the computer, I oh, my goodness, wouldn't let me take control. I tried to juke back and keep him in the end zone. They made me spin. And then they make me kneel on the one-yard line. So now we got to fight. It's James Conner picking up them tough yards to get us off the goal line so we can start throwing this ball. And um, it may be the rain. Who knows? Big Ben throws a horrible pass right there. Right here, he finally gets it to Eric Ebron. And he can he outrun, and he does. He's running up the sideline to the 10, the 5, into the crib. That was a nice little play by Eric Ebron, the new addition from the offseason there. Hey, if we can get more production out of him like this, we happy. 
you know i i, I like that the 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 rack the the you know the yak you know what i mean we need all that this season and uh so now it's tied up seven seven we need to do this seriously now Daniel Jones is back out. We got to see if we can stop him at least. We cannot be having no big plays like that anymore. Nelson knocking the ball down there. Second and 10. And he throws over the middle. A, giving up them big plays. Third and one. Saquon's not being denied. He picks up a huge gain there. A, once again, we got to tighten up on defense. You know, the defense is looking definitely suspect. It could be them first work, first week jitters. As we get a nice open field tackle for zero, Saquon again, and Vince Williams gets called for the face mask. Can't be doing that. We really can't be doing that, or we will not be winning any games. So it's first and 10 on a 21. They do a draw play. Saquon, nice little, nice little contain there. You know, stepping to it. Stephon Tewitt is showing some heart, but then we give up the touchdown again. Nobody can get to the outside. They score. So now we got to answer back. We throw a little inside route to Washington. Um, we got to see what we're going to do with Washington. Um, Deontay Johnson is proven to be a nice little addition, too. And then with um, Chase Claypool coming up, showing big in preseason, I, I don't know. So it's second and 10. We throw a screen to James Conner, who is pretty good at receiving. Um, pick up the first down. James Conner is hoping to have a a big season this year and he he's, he's fighting for these yards here second and five we need to pick up the first and james connor again a a good receiving back very underrated he had a very good year when bell was out and right here we throw it underneath the eric ebron a he's once again showing that showing and proving we throw a nice little corner route to james washington picks up the first down it's first and 10. We run in the ball. James Conner just picking up yards. That's what we need. James Conner is doing well. Jalen Samuels, can we get into the end zone? No, we on a one-yard line. What we going to do right here? We just going to hand this ball off. James Conner gets the first rushing touchdown of the year. Nice. So now we just got to stop Saquon and uh, see if we can capitalize on defense. So it's Second and eight, and uh, the, the that was more of a computer issue. I ain't even going to be mad at the defense on that one. We had him stop, but, hey, it's whatever. Right here, Edmonds makes up for the computer mishap. We get to tackle there. Sec there second and six. They had a gain of four. Look, we got to capitalize. It's third and three. Are we going to be able to stop him right here? Daniel Jones gets sacked. You already know what it is. They punt us the ball back. Juju Smith-Schuster, wide open in the middle of the field, picks up the first down, second and 10. We throw it out to Eric Ebron again. He picks up the first down. We got a minute left. What are we going to do? We stop the clock, 48 seconds left. We just need to get out of bounds quick here. And can we get out? No, didn't get the feed in. It's third and 10 right here. Once again, we get this weird animation, knock it out. Fourth and 10, I don't know why you would go for it. Weird part of the field, can't complete the pass. Daniel Jones right here, setting up, throws a dime over the middle, but whoo, Minka Fitzpatrick lays the wood. We get the ball back with 27 seconds left. What can we do with it? We got Juju Smith-Schuster had... Ben Roethlisberger led that further outside. That would have probably been a catch. Once again, Ben Roethlisberger is struggling with that accuracy today. I don't I don't know what we're going to do about that. Once again, over the middle, struggling with the accuracy. They just We just punt the ball back. Um, hit, they run the ball on the last play of the half. We get the ball back. It's first and 10. They shut down that run there. Nice. We got to establish this run, keep it going. Throw a screen. Can we get out? We do. We pick up the first down and a little extra, and it's going good so far. Once again, we sit there. We wait. We wait. We throw a duck. But, hey, that's what Big Ben does. We complete that first down. We throw it to Eric Ebron again. We get the first down. Runs out of bounds. Good call for a late hit, but, hey, it is what it is. 
Um, try to run the ball, keep that run established. We don't pick up too much. Gain a two right here. We're going to throw it to Eric Ebron again. Can we pick up some? He picks up a little bit, not too many. Four yards to be exact. What are we going to do here? Ah, Big Ben is struggling right there, which is why we need to work on it. And then uh, Boswell misses the kick. Kick meter has been killing me this year because I don't know if it's going to lag or not, but... It is what it is. Right there, we get a rare stop behind the line on Saquon. It's third and seven right here. We need to stop him, and woo! He throws it inaccurate right there. So we get the ball back first and 10. James Conner is just running into people. I mean, you can't get the momentum. It's second and seven. I got lucky there. <laughs> I threw it uh, pretty late, but... Juju comes back for the ball. We throw it to James Washington. Caught the defender flat-footed. We throw another screen. Can we get out? Oh, we can't. Man, had they been able to block him, that would have probably been a nice gain. It's second and 13. We need to do something. And I don't know if James Washington slipped or whatnot, but gets picked off. Big Ben is struggling. So now they're going to uh, get this ball inside their 20. They're in the red zone. Saquon, we need to keep them out of the end zone right here. We do a good job right here. It's going to be third and short. What are we going to do? We get the sack, man. J.J. Watt comes in there, gets the sack. It's fourth and fourth and nine. They kick the field goal. They go up 17 to 14. So we need to come back and score a touchdown. What are we going to do? Juju Smith-Schuster with the Moss, man. We like that. We need Juju to do some more big things. I mean, hey, it was one-on-one, -on -one and he's coming down with it. So we're going to try to march our way into this end zone, especially after that. We throw another screen. It is screen heavy. We need to get these running backs involved and, uh, you know, doing whatever we can. We running the ball here and, oh, man, As if we could have, you know, if he could have gotten a little off that block there, we would have got a score, but we didn't. Right here, ah, we thread the needle and get the touchdown. We up 21-17. This is a close game here. They dump it off to Saquon Barkley, who's having a nice game receiving-wise. But, uh, you know, running a ball, I mean, he, he started off hot, cooling down now. Um, right here, ah, you know, hey, we get that bat out, man. You know, he's not allowing anything to happen right there. Once again, the defense is clamping up. It's fourth and ten. What can we do? And, ah, oh, Bush just gets beat. I mean, Ingram is just too fast. Bush is fast, but Ingram's faster. He's a good route runner. We can't do anything about that. First and 10. What is he doing? They giving it to Saquon Barkley, who's once again, like I said, having a good receiving game. He's an all-purpose back. We get caught with Hayward, and uh, they pick up the first down. They on the 10-yard line, 49 seconds left, and throw a touchdown. Is this the end of the game? Oh, man, who knows? Right here, we going to have a first down, and we caught them slipping that's a pass interference horrible horrible penalty to be doing at the end of the game like this with 36 seconds left on our own 40 on our 43 we need to get into field goal range at least to tie this game up right here juju smith schuster gets behind can he get in the end zone he doesn't he gets stopped on the one yard line we call a timeout 26 seconds left this is gonna be clutch and we get Darren watt into the end zone one of the watt brothers he gets the second rushing touchdown we go up 28 to 24 23 seconds left we just need to keep daniel jones and them out of the end zone as he somehow evades all of that he gets it second and 10 we need to stop them he throws another bomb to try to get into a field goal range doesn't work we bat it down he throws a little pass there and lane picks the ball off second year seven seconds left that's gonna be the end of the game Steelers come back Juju makes a huge play Big Ben comes back and we do what we got to do it was a good game on both sides as we held them to 51 yards rushing and uh yeah that's gonna be the end of the game thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later peace